Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of the BAM Internet Marketing Training. Today what we're going to be talking about is building private networks for SEO dominance and also how to build those networks for free. Um, as you probably know, link building for search engine optimization purposes has become very difficult, or at least increasingly difficult in uh, the recent years. With all the Google updates and penalties and everything else they're handing out in their newly waged war on links, um, quite frankly they've made it a pain in the ass. Um, but it can still be done, and it still needs to be done if you ever truly want to have any real SEO success. Um, and doing it the way I'm about to tell you with these uh, private you know, SEO networks or private networks, <clears throat> blog networks, uh, it still works very well, and it's actually much safer than pretty much every other link building strategy out there. Um, so I definitely recommend utilizing them, and uh, I'm going to tell you how to do that and how to do it for free or very cheap. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about why you should build these private networks, um, you know, what they are and, and kind of the reason they work so well for SEO purposes. So really what, how they work is when one site links to another, it transfers the link juice to that site. I mean, that's pretty basic link building 101 right there. But that in turn increases its rank in Google. So however, not only does the link juice go to the initial site, it also goes to sites that that site is linking to. So let's say you have a thousand links going to one website, that website then links to your website. The power of those links is then transferred through the middle site to your site. And the power is slightly, dimin slightly diminished, but you know, so are the risks of you know, directly linking to your site that Google has been kind of on a war against lately. So really, in short, if a site links to your site, not only do you gain the juice from that link, but you also gain the juice from the links linking to that site. So that's kind of the reason for building these buffer site networks. You know, you first might be wondering, well, why not just send all of the links to my main site and, and get direct, you know, the direct power from them? Well, the main reason is simply just because Google hates that, and they hate that a lot, especially nowadays. Um, used to not be a big deal, but it is now. Uh, sending a ton of links to your site quickly is, is basically just asking for a penalty and you know that could completely wipe out all of your SEO efforts, kill your website overnight, you know, all your traffic, your rankings, your money, your sales. I mean that's the important reason for having your site anyway. Um, all gone, you know, if you get penalized, and those penalties can be very, very difficult, if not impossible, to recover from. Um, and they take a lot of time and effort to recover from them. So Avoiding them in the first place is definitely a good idea. Um, so that's why instead of linking directly to your, to your site, it's good to build your, your mass links to buffer sites or tier sites, or network sites that are then those sites linked to your site. So you kind of get all the juice from many, many, many links, but it doesn't send up a red flag in Google and you don't get penalized for spamming links or linking too much or anything like that. Um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Uh, you, know, you get lots and lots of links, but there's really only a small amount of links pointing directly to your website and the rest of them are pointing to the buffer sites in between and uh, funneling out the possible penalties and so on and so forth. So it's a lot safer to do it this way. It works really well and uh, I highly recommend it. So let's kind of get going into how the networks are built. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward to build them uh, the way I the way I'm gonna recommend doing it here um, for free um, or very very cheap at least. I mean yeah you can build high PR networks by buying high PR domains and spreading them out, them out on different hosts and and whatnot but that costs a lot of money, takes a lot of time kind of hard to manage. Uh, works really, 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 really well. I definitely recommend doing it if you have the, the money and the time and the resources and the know how to do that or if you're in a really competitive niche. But uh, what we're going to do here um, is kind of the same theory and the same concept except you're doing it for free or very cheap and um, it's pretty easy to manage, pretty easy to set up, pretty easy to do. Uh, so and it also works really well for at least for Medium to low competition keywords, awesome for uh, local SEO if, you, if you're a local business or a small business or if you are an SEO service provider who um, has clients that are local businesses or other small businesses. 
Uh, this is just absolute money for that, so I highly recommend utilizing it. So anyway, let's jump into how they're built. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go out and create accounts on various blog platforms, Web 2.0 sites that are going to be used for your properties on the network. Uh, these are things like Blogger, WordPress, Tumblr, Swidoo, um, LiveJournal, BlinkWeb, Weebly, Blog.com, Wikisites. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. There's a ton of them out there. Uh, you can, they're easy to find. Just go and search something like best Web 2.0 platforms, best blogging platforms, and kind of compile this together. Um, I have a whole list of them compiled out, but I'm not going to name them all off for you right now just for time purposes. But yeah, um, you know, Tumblr, Squidoo, WordPress, Blogger, LiveJournal, BlinkWeb, Weebly, sites like that. Just, you know, there's tons of them out there. Um, I recommend not using the same ones over and over and over again for every network you build or every site in each network. Uh, there's so many options out there that it's, it's good to just randomly use different ones for each one of the sites. This is kind of so you don't leave a footprint, um, you know, so you're kind of lowering your risk in case any of them ever get shut down or they change the way they do business or whatever. They do that, you know, sometimes, you know, the biggest, most well-known free blogging platforms suddenly decide to sell or shut down or change the way they do business or whatever. You don't want to have hundreds of uh, you'll be relying on them for hundreds and hundreds of your web properties if that happens. It's good to spread it out a lot. Okay, so after you get you know your good list of those down and uh, and uh, your accounts created on them, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna write articles, write content articles about your niche. Um, you know if you are a uh, a website, you know selling I don't know energy drinks or something. Um, you might want to, you know, you're going to want to write articles about energy drinks and the benefits of them and all the all that good stuff. Just content relevant to yours. Um, is being anywhere between 300, 500 words. You know, at least put at least you're going to want at least one article written for each of your sites for the network. Um, the more you write, the better. So if you can do two or three or five of them per site, um, that's actually better. But uh, since they're kind of free and, and you're wanting to get these up quickly and whatnot, one will work in most cases. Um, you can write them yourself if you're going the totally free route. Uh, I actually recommend using a site called iWriter.com to uh, purchase the articles. Um, the the quality is is pretty darn good and the price is cheap and they are super fast. I mean, you can go order go order a batch of. 15, 20 articles right now, and they'll be done by tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I've ever had them take more than a day to get that many done. So, iWriter.com, uh, it's great for that. Um, so, once you have your accounts created and your articles written, now you actually have to build the sites. Um, so, go back to the accounts you created in step one. You know, for example, let's say you're using Tumblr. You know, Tumblr is one of your sites. Go to Tumblr, uh, use one of the articles you wrote in step two, upload it to there, and you know, make the site, you know, update the settings and, and maybe take off some of the um, the stuff that's just on these. A lot of these sites have uh, placeholder content that they already that they put in there. You know, delete that, delete the the comment or the hello world post and whatever on these sites. Um, just kind of get rid of all the all the stuff that they have on there, so it looks more legit, and you know, isn't some doesn't look like you just built it in five seconds. Update the settings, maybe put a picture or two nice in there. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but I recommend um, not just leaving them as it. Maybe change the theme. Definitely, actually, I definitely change the theme. Um, just pick one randomly. If there's one that's related to your to your uh, niche, that'd be good too. You know, if you're like a heating and cooling company or your client's a heating and cooling company. You know, maybe you can choose one that kind of looks like a heating and cooling theme or whatever. Um, so just kind of build the sites, make them somewhat unique, somewhat nice looking, but do it quickly and easily. You don't want, like I said, you don't want to spend a ton of time and effort on that part um, since these are kind of free network tier sites you're building here. It's not like it's your main money site. <clears throat> so for the way we're going to build this, you're going to want to have five websites on tier one. These sites will be linking directly to your money site and nowhere else. So these ones are probably are, are the most important. You want to have the best articles on these, the set them up the best, you know, kind of do some of the stuff I just said with the 
with the making them look good and and a lot more legit. They're they're kind of like a little mini website of your own. Uh, these tier one sites, um, the further you're getting down, tier two, tier three, tier four, whatever, it's less and less important how good the site is or how quality the site is or anything about it. But tier one, you still want to have them, you know, pretty high quality here. So you'll make five of those. Then you're going to make ten more sites. There's going to be fifteen total. Uh, these are going to be your tier two sites. These are going to link to each other and to your tier one sites. They will not link to your actual site. So every link will be one way and everything flows towards the top. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain in a, in a video without having a, a screen capture going on here, but uh, the five tier one sites will each link directly to your money site and that's it. They link to nothing else, nowhere else. The ten tier two sites uh, the first two link to the first tier one, the second two link to the second tier one, and, and, and so on. The next two link to the third tier one. And then each of those also link to each other in a one-way pattern. The first one links to the second one, links to the third one, links to the fourth one, links to the fifth one, all the way to the tenth one. So all the link juice will be flowing to the right and up and up to your site. Um, no site links back to the one before it ever. No tier one sites link to any tier two sites and, and so on and so forth. Um, hopefully you get that. Uh, um, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. Uh, for anybody that, that doesn't quite get it, I have a diagram written up. Um, send me an email. You can go to bealwaysmarketing.com. Uh, shoot me an email from there. <clears throat> and I'll be happy to send you the diagram or, or explain a little more of the linking pattern of these. That's a very important part, the linking pattern is. Um, because in order for this to work correctly, the linking pattern has to be done correctly. So the link juice flows the way it needs to flow um, to help with your rankings and also prevent any footprint or red flags or anything like that getting you penalized. So after that is step three. Step four, um, go and create a short video and upload it, upload it to YouTube with the link to your site in the description. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. It can be like a slideshow with pictures related to your niche. Um, just you sitting in front of your camera talking about your niche or your website or your business or, or whatever for you know, 30 seconds or whatever. Very basic video, video um, nothing elaborate, doesn't need to take a lot of time for it, but um, it's good to have this as one good part of the, of the network. Um, so after you have that, the last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to send mass links to the second tier and also to the YouTube video. The bottom left tier site, if you link the way I say, will link to this to the second or will link up to this tier, up to the main site. It will also link to the, the next in the second tier, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and then that one will link up. So if you mass link to the bottom left website of the network. The link juice will flow all the way through the entire network, all the way to the top to your website. Every single one of the sites will benefit from the link juice. That's why it's very important that the linking is done correctly. Um, and then you also send mass links to the YouTube video. Uh, YouTube videos can handle a lot of links, and then you'll be linking to your site in the description. Therefore, um, not only will your video rank more than likely, which will give you an extra ranking in the listings, um, It'll also bring in traffic, and you have a link to your website for people to go through there. So you're sending mass links to two different areas, the bottom uh, left tier two website and the YouTube video. <clears throat> the link juice will always flow to your website, to your main website, but only. But as of right now, as you can see, your main website only has six links pointing to it. The five links from the tier one sites and the one link from the YouTube video. Six links, but with the tiers, and the buffer sites, and then the mass links going to the, the buffer site tiers and the network, um, you're getting link juice from massive, massive amounts of links. You can build these mass links through a, a lot of different ways. All the link building methods out there, really. You know, article submissions, directories, uh, social bookmarking, blog commenting, press releases, profiles, forums, uh, other videos, video sharing sites, photo sharing, wikis. Um, microblogs, uh, social networking, trackbacks, document sharing, MoWeb 2.0 properties, the list goes on and on and on. There's a ton of ways to build links out there. And since you're building these to these lower tiers, um, you can build them, massive amounts of them from just about anywhere. Um, so it, it, it's not going directly to your site, so you don't need to worry about 
you know, and building low quality links to your website. Uh, this can be done manually. Obviously, you can do all that stuff manually, and therefore be completely free. Um, problem is, it is going to take you a lot of time and effort. That's kind of the, the one part of this whole network um, doing it free that is kind of tough to do. Is the mass link building part? Um, I actually recommend using something like GSA Search Engine Ranker. Uh, it's last time I checked, I think it was only a hundred bucks one time fee, um, and you can run it day and night forever. It works great. It's always updating. Um, they're great. Another one would be like SE Nuke. Uh, it's a lot more expensive, but there's also a lot more you can do with it. There's just two options where you can save a lot of time and effort by automatically doing the link building to these um, network sites. So that's pretty much it as far as building them, linking them, linking to them, and how they work. I mean, it's it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, you can you can get one of these built in a day, um, you know, pretty easily. Really, it's not a whole lot of time and effort. The the time the most time is the link building, mass link building, and the writing the articles. Everything else can be done in a matter of a couple hours. Um, Obviously, there is quite a bit more work that goes into each of those steps. I mean, I'm, I'm explaining it here in a few minutes' time, but you know, and so this is kind of a simple, simplified overview, you know, ten thousand foot look down on it here. But, uh, but that's basically how it's done. Um, you know, I'm not going in depth on each step just because it would take forever to explain it all, and and this video ended up being really long, and some of the things are kind of hard to explain without seeing it anyway. But uh, I think you get the gist of it. I, I hope I've explained it pretty well for you. Um, like I said, if you want more information, uh, if you're not quite getting the visualization here and you would like a, a diagram or more of an explanation or anything like that, I'll be happy to send it to you. Um, there's a live link to my website down below in the description. Um, it's bealwaysmarketing.com. Um, so just send a contact uh, through there. There's a contact form or contact page. And you'll be able to get a hold of me through that. Um, send me your email and um, you know your name and what your question or whatever you need. I'll be happy to explain more or send you visualizations and kind of show you how these networks work a little more easier. Um, like I said, they work really, really, really well for local SEO clients, you know, especially or just lower competition keywords in general. Um, up to medium, I've seen it work for medium and even a little bit harder keywords as well. And once you get into super difficult keywords or higher competition or whatever, you know, you're going to need more than just this. But these these things kill it for uh, local SEO for the most part and um, kind of low to medium competition and keywords in general. Uh, the best part about them that I've also found is that over time, the network sites themselves will begin to rank. Um, so not only do you get high rankings for your own site or your client site or whatever money site you have in there, but you're also bumping some of your competition down. You're taking over more of the spots on the first page with your little mini network sites, and you're basically just dominating it. Um, I've got some clients that have their site ranked number one, and then like six or seven of these network sites uh, ranked in the top ten. They've got like eight spots out of the ten for their keyword, and, and there's some pretty decent keywords, to, uh, buying keywords, and um, they're just absolutely killing it through, for, through these things. So they work really well. I've been using this strategy for I don't know, roughly two years now, and uh, it has worked very well the entire time. It's still working today. Um, haven't had anyone penalized. Um, it's it's relatively safe. You know, it's hard. You know, it, about as safe as it gets out there in the in the SEO link building world right now. And um, it works really well. And there's really uh, you know, it's free or real or very cheap depending on which route you want to take. And uh, I highly recommend it. Um, so go give it a shot right now. Uh, you can thank me later for all your newfound SEO success and all the money is just pouring into your bank account. And uh, I'd love to hear the successes you're having with it. Uh, be sure to visit BeAlwaysMarketing.com for tons more internet marketing SEO tips. Uh, and that's about it. Bam!